All right. Fair warning. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. Shouldn't do that. I'm always glad to hear from you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. It's just that I get my hopes up. So do I. So many times it's led to nothing. Reaching for to the choir. I found nothing. I found a rock. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. Shawshank Redemption? We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. That's the picture's something world. nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. The Shawshank Redemption. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. This is but just They're that lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. It's not the nice to lie. not the world, the world is much bigger and much stranger. You don't know me. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. I mean, you gotta see the, the thing? Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone leave. here? Nope. I'm leaving. Let me out. I can't punch. I can't punch. I cannot punch and I cannot pinch. And I can't grab that ledge. So that door totally just opens and closes on its own. It's a psychic door. I'm not okay with this. Alright, let's see here. Head of research override, HRA protocol activated, multiple containment breaches detected, multiple building shifts detected. I'm sorry, building shifts? Internal lockdown in effect, building in lockdown effect. Okay, at this point, I walk in here, it's empty, I see these screens, you leave. You leave now. I mean, the building's apparently in lockdown, but, like, the door's automatically open for you. Also, that's just kind of fun that you can knock that down. Okay, leave. Like, bang on those windows. Get those people's attentions. Like, let's get the fuck out of here. Grab the flag and, like, charge the window. And these... Yeah, this isn't creepy this as field. fuck. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. 
Okay, and so you have dreamt of being part of this organization. Congratulations. Lots of people dream of, you know, joining the FBI. Seek shelter. Game. Yes, this is a game. Yeah, well, your janitor sucks because this rug is dirty as fuck. There's a, you know, leaf laying there. I mean, look how dirty this fucking carpet is. Any janitor should be ashamed. Unisex bathrooms? So, unisex bathroom, but there's three sinks. I mean, I guess there's two stalls. I mean, if you're progressive enough, I guess you can, you know, take a shit next to some chick who's, you know, also Federal being or whatever. Bureau but of control. I would assume that most All people would be too. been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. What do you mean hiding in plain sight? So this company doesn't even like exist. There's a giant building, and is that why no one was, like, paying attention to me while I was jumping or whatever? I know what the janitor's been doing all day. He's been fucking polishing these goddamn fucking windows. I mean, they are spotless to the point where you can't even see them. Is this, um, set movie where uh, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum? I'm all out of bubblegum. That is not Duke Nukem. I will punch you in the face. Also, this looks like super old tech. But what year is this? They live, that's right. When he puts his, his glasses on, everything is just it white with black lettering on it and you know, just says, you know, obey, purchase, consume. And the vending machine very much resembles that. Okay, I'm guessing this is like super I mean she's dressed very, you know, this century, but, like, the building itself seems to be very, you know, low-scale tech, and apparently someone's watching us. Oh, God. And if the camera can't find us, it doesn't blink red. So, like, now it's not blinking red. And it stops trying to, like, lock on to me. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. But again, they have, like, some sort of, like, telekinetic doors. But they also have a tube system. Like, just tell me a goddamn century this is supposed to be in. I mean, how old are metal detectors? They're aliens. a flashlight. Hello? Hey, excuse me. 
Nächste. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. you are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hold. I've done enough night shift loader jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Wait, so she... But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. He was just talk. She was... She mentioned a friendly face, and then he responded out loud so he can read her mind now. Okay, cool. Sounds... Wait, what? Um... I went back to, to check on the the uh, the painting to see if you can see his face now, and um, don't know if anyone else noticed this, but the hallway's gone. The hallway's gone, and technically this room is small enough that we walked on the other side of it. Meaning this right here should be that hallway. Or wait, this hallway. But wait. So, 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 my head hurts. So, technically I would have gone straight and then walked all the way around and I walked in a circle. And that's how I got to Harry the... already the, uh, the, the thing. And yeah, I pushed this door all the way open. This is the same place. And now the, the picture of him is gone and it is an elevator, like he said, for where he... Yeah, these are the same rooms. This is the same place. The elevator they told us to go to is the place, and there's my cameras that I was playing with, but... So, like, when we run into him and he tells us where to go, will his picture disappear and an elevator will appear? Wait, didn't the monitor say something about the building shifting? Multiple building shifts detected. So this is normal, maybe? Is this supposed to be just a psychological thriller or whatever? The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old insane? the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? It's the guy who killed himself. So is she just insane? This is all just a fever dream? It's like Hellblade. Am I going to start hearing voices? I'm 
control. Control yourself. Did I lose you there for a moment? Who are you talking you to? know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Wait, what? Where'd that come from? What do you mean? You've never brought that up. Is that a stapler or an altered item? What do you mean an altered item? No. Speak in moderate volume, no personal calls. No food or drink around bureau documents are in the copy room. No using the photocopier for personal projects or the 3D printer or the bureau stationery. Wear access badge at, at all times. No discussing confidential objects out loud confidential something objects the one to finish the coffee must make a new one also there was a red flash where'd that come from Did the director just shoot himself? Who's she talking to? She hearing voices. Told she was gonna kill himself. He only has blood on one side of his head. In the thing, he was picking it up with his right hand, and putting it against his head. The blood splatter would imply that it went out that way. So, it made a clean hole? Or wait, is that like right underneath his glasses? That hole? I don't know. Probably shouldn't be analyzing his suicide. Zachariah Trench. He met Biden. Stone is weird. Wait, is that like wood splinters? Where do the wood splinters come from? Are you made of wood? Oh, 
also no windows. Why are you picking it up? And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Wait, so if you, you shoot. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? So the idea is you shoot yourself and that's how you become the director. Bubblegum? All, none of the above? These are the tattoos we see in the mind. Oh, that's interesting. So I am also telekinetic. The same gun. Control the gun house. over time. So, a normal shot to the chest seems to do the same amount as a headshot. Or not. It seems as if Oh, the dots are health. Health elements when damaged, collect health elements to restore health. Yeah, I, I just figured that out like after or before you. Order points, congratulations, director. I'm now the director? Well, who's that guy? Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Director, keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. 
happy to be here. Okay, A, the gun is alive. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Oh, hey, I now have telekinetic powers in the real world now. I'm ripping up the carpet, just not ripping up him, apparently. Fuck this world. Oh wow, I like make dents into the wall. Oh, that's cool. How permanent is this? Because I mean, it seems like it's permanent. Like, none of this is going away. Oh wow, I can move the chairs even. Oh wait, my picture's on there now. Spooky. But his name is still on a lot of the other things. Okay, what the fuck? I did not agree to horror game. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You... Oh, thank you. That was... Horror. Get the fuck away! Break the glass? I can break the glass. Ooh, the grass is, glass is pretty. I can shoot through the glass too. Oh wow. And it's very well destructive. Like this 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 is very well done. This is very well done. Also, again, I am Okay, so the elevator used to be right there. It is no longer there. I am the director. How do I not have level one clearance? Okay, so the, the building does shift. We're just going to have to accept that.
It's just straight up hearing voices. Not get a whole lot of help. Wow, that desk was really badly made. I can't push upwards. Don't understand anything. Reminder if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then, reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. But I have questions! Oh, I have so many questions. So apparently the, the men's, the women's, and the unisex bathrooms are essentially identical. I'm not sure if I like this game. I do not do horror. And this feels very, very much like horror.
you the source of the voices? Okay, so they're the ones who are making the voices, that's for sure. And it is logical English. There's another one somewhere. But oh, they're in here. the map. It's my grip. That's an old slang, is it not? I see a picture of myself. I swear I saw a picture of myself. I will shoot every single one of them. I'm guessing there's more of them through here. Okay. I am really not liking this. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. What are you, what are you talking about? It seems as if, oh hey, this is a 
change room, is that what's going on? It's the pyramid. So, fuck the vending machines, they're weird. So what? Ooh, what's this? Hands. His life is in your hands. What? sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. number seems to be going down. These, oh, my number doesn't go up, I think. Doesn't seem to be going down either. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss growing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? So I'm gaining points by killing them. Killing enemies. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. Not the 
force push might do more damage, but that is not the case. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our. the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Safe room in our car. Please talk to me. We saw yeah. you deal with a compromised agent. Is it Okay, safe room. I mean, I mean, there was a safe room back, but back where I came from. But like, things don't stay. Things don't stay put. Cause she also have like you know telekinesis too here. Like, what's going on? Don't read confidential correspondence. Can't find your office, watch your step. Okay, so. I mean, this is all fucked up. So this building is supposed to shift.
it is a known thing. That's the guy, so that means that that's going to be me. Is the jukebox evil? There's a shelter, like, right here. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. How do you know? And why do you all have chess pieces? Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. Wait, you did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Can you odd, though? Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. So I should be and killing them? Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. 
She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay, she talking okay. to me or to me? the entity? We did it before. Push the hiss out. That is a no. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. See an anti max skirt or an anti HRA? They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Can are you talking to me yes, or the, the I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I barely understand anything that's going on. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. Unless you're I insane. I didn't imagine this. Up. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. 
The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Okay. Cutting it here. I'll be back.